Welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'll be making air fry pickles. Let's get started. Okay, here I have some kosher pickles. I would have liked them to be bigger, but this was all that I could find. Here I have some flour, and I'm going to add some Tony's Creole seasoning to this. Already. You don't want to over season because pickles are already pretty salty, you know. Some pepper. Just going to mix that. well and here I have some uh, breadcrumbs I have some some homemade breadcrumbs that I had, uh, that I made and I have some panko and I've just added those two together mm, seems kind of dark gonna mix them again I already did once but gonna mix them up again and I have an egg I'm going to add a little bit of water to this egg. I'm going to mix these, this pretty well. There we go. And my pickles, I'm going to slice them kind of the long way. And you want them to be pretty thick. Show you how thick them. How can you see? Is that dark? Yeah, pretty thick, like I was saying. I'm going to cut these very quick. the flour. Into the egg. Do a few more like that. <coughs> Excuse me. This is really an easy recipe. Excuse me. And air frying them is, you know, it's a lot healthier than <clears throat> putting them into the grease. No grease today for oil. Move them around. Just gonna move these around in the egg. And then we're going into the breadcrumbs. And from there, we're, I'm gonna put them on this rack to go into the air fryer. I want you to see how pretty they come out. See? Just gonna put them here. Do a few more. And I just make my bread crumbs. Instead of throwing my bread away that we let expire or 
we don't eat or whatever. I just put them in the oven until they get really hard. And then I'll put them in the processor or I'll just put them in the bag and, you know, beat them until they're crumbled. And they're your breadcrumbs. And if you want seasoned ones, just add whatever seasoning you want. And if you want Parmesan cheese, just add the Parmesan. Yeah. Just do it yourself. I'm going to finish these up right quick. And I'll be right back with you. Okay, when you place them in your air fryer, I'm just putting them on this rack because I figured they'll fry better. Um, just make sure you space them apart. You don't want them close together. You want the air to be able to circulate around each and every one of them. And so I'm going to place them into my air fryer. I'm going to put it on 400. I'm going to cook for about 10 or 12 minutes. And while that's happening, we're going to make our sauce. And this is mayo. Here I have an onion. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm just going to uh, grate some onion. Depends on how much you like onion. Mm -hmm. I think that's quite a bit right there. You can see. Get this off here. Maybe I'll just a little bit more. These are some green onions. I have some ketchup. Just kind of shake it up. Some of that. And I have some barbecue sauce. And this is the kind that I like. This is from Buffalo Wings, by the way. The honey barbecue. It's really tasty. Add some of that. Use your favorite. Whatever kind that is, that's what you use. Mm-hmm. Let's taste this. Make sure you got to mix well. You want the onions and <clears throat> pepper and everything, barbecue sauce, ketchup, and the mayo to be mixed well. Let me taste that. Mmm, yum. And our um, pickles are almost ready. Okay, it's been 12 minutes and you have to cook them according to your, your machine. Some cook faster and some cook slower. And look at that. Mm. Let's put some here. Mmm. try this small one right here into this beautiful sauce because it is delicious. Let me see. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. You like pickles? Then make you some of this. They're good, they're crunchy. They're nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see. <coughs> so delicious, and you didn't fry them in oil. So that's a plus. Well, thank you so much for watching, and remember to pray. Then pray some more. Pray for her, pray for him, pray for you, pray for them, pray for us. Don't stop praying. Pray. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe and tap that bell if you haven't. And if you have, thank you. Share with friends and family. And comment. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, eat well, be well, stay safe, and stay blessed. Bloop. I love you. I really do. Mm-hmm. Make you some. Mm-hmm. Mm. Later.